In the United States, a new twist in the presidential race. Donald Trump has been disqualified from the election. This is a court order, the Supreme Court of Colorado, a western state in America. The court has said that Donald Trump, cannot run for office, he's not eligible, and so he's been disqualified from the state ballot. Does that mean that Trump cannot run for president? Well, the answer is no. The ruling only applies to the state of Colorado, but it will hurt his chances. It may also influence other such cases against him, and he plans to appeal it. So let me break this down for you. This case is about the capital riots of 2021. The court called it an insurrection meaning a violent uprising against a government or an authority. That's what an insurrection is. And the court said that Trump was involved in this. Now, this was a 4-3 verdict, so basically a slim majority. The ruling cites Section 3 of the 14th Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. It is a provision from the Civil War era. It's also known as the Insurrection Clause. It says anyone involved in an insurrection, anyone involved in a violent uprising against the government will be banned from holding public office. Since the court believes that Donald Trump was involved, he's been banned. Now, this provision has been used before in the U.S., but never against a president or a former president. So that's another first for Donald Trump. Which brings us to the second question here. What does this ruling mean for Trump and his party? To understand this, you must understand the American electoral system. It's not like the one we have here in India or the UK. It's a presidential race. The first part is called the primaries, where each party votes for their candidate. They choose their presidential candidate by vote. And then you have the final election between the candidates of both parties. Now, this ruling applies only to the state of Colorado, to the state primary election. It is scheduled for the 5th of March. That's when Republican voters in Colorado will choose their presidential candidate. Donald Trump's name won't be on the ballot in his state. So how is he reacting to this? Trump has called the ruling, and I'm quoting, undemocratic. Other Republican leaders have also slammed it. They've called it a scheme of the Democrats. It's no wonder crooked Joe Biden and the far-left lunatics are desperate to stop us by any means necessary. They are willing to violate the U.S. constitutions at levels never seen before in order to win this election. Joe Biden is a threat to democracy. It's a threat. They're weaponizing law enforcement for high-level election interference because we're beating them so badly in the polls. Trump will appeal this in the U.S. Supreme Court, and it's hard to predict what the court will say, but this is a court with a conservative majority. Three of these judges were appointed by Trump himself. So it is believed that they may be sympathetic to his cause. But what if they're not? What if they uphold the Colorado order? In pure numbers, it should not bother Trump. And I'll explain why. Traditionally, Colorado is a Democratic-leaning state. In 2016, Trump lost Colorado to Hillary Clinton. In 2020, he lost the state to Joe Biden. So Colorado is technically inconsequential for him. Trump was never going to win it anyway. The worry is the precedent it sets. What if other states follow this trend? Colorado has already ripped the Band-Aid, and others are watching this closely. If similar lawsuits are filed in, say, swing states, the likes of Michigan and Minnesota, the states that can go either way, that is why they're called swing states, then it would worry Trump and his party. Having said that, Donald Trump has a unique ability, a way to turn legal losses into election wins. He's already polling higher than all other Republican candidates, and according to a new poll today, Trump is tied with Biden at 44%. He also has, he's also wiped out Biden's lead with Latino voters, and that's saying something. Because Joe Biden is the incumbent. He has all the advantage. Incumbent presidents in America are usually on a solid footing. But this one won't be an easy battle. Trump is going to use legal troubles to turbocharge his campaign, and elections are still 11 months away. A lot could happen in this time. A clear lead for Trump or an end to his campaign.